Thanks, Sabine, and uh, thanks to IBM for hosting this great uh, computational fashion series. I'm Becky Stern. I'm the director of wearable electronics at Adafruit Industries, an electronics kit company here in uh, New York City. We make uh, tutorials, kits, and open source devices that allow curious tinkerers to create the gadgets of their dreams while learning about the principles behind how all of our favorite gadgets actually work. Uh, I focus on wearable electronics that uh, beginners can make at home. Uh, we source and test all kinds of conductive textiles and bring what we think are the, are the best quality materials to the customers uh, for, of our online store, and we do ship nationwide. Uh, we, like to, we like to think of ourselves as an educational tutorial company with a gift shop at the end. <laughs> I, uh, I started my first project with Conductive Thread in 2008, it's, and here it is. It's, um, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, I promise I wouldn't do that into the microphone. Uh, <laughs> I ordered a spool of silver-plated nylon from a guy in Canada who repairs fencing equipment and um, started stitching this uh, light-reactive sound-emitting embroidery. And after about a year of shipping this thing around the globe to be in different uh, e-textile exhibitions, et cetera, uh, the silver plating on the nylon thread started to tarnish. And uh, what used to carry electricity throughout the circuit now no longer does so. And um, it was very sad, and there was nothing I could do to repair it. So as an, uh, I was in grad school at the time when I made this with a bunch of like sculptors who were making things out of metal, and we all want to make archival quality work that stands the test of time. And so uh, for me, this was a heartbreaking experience and very memorable. But it drove me to work hard to put together an ecosystem of great hardware and uh, conductive textiles to allow imaginative fashion designers and artists and at-home crafters to make really robust uh, functional garments and accessories that uh, sense the world around them. Or maybe just light up the dance floor. I've got something on. <laughs> and it reinforced the importance of documentation to me uh, because some of my earlier works now only exist online as pictures and videos. So every week at Adafruit, I make a new tutorial. And here's a guide I made uh, recently about conductive thread that uh, we carry now at Adafruit stainless steel conductive thread that doesn't tarnish. Uh, and so uh, we show what each of the three kinds we carry looks like up close. Um, they're all just solid stainless steel fibers that are twisted together. We have, but we have like a thin one, a medium one, and then like a yarny one that you, will match your gloves. Um, we also describe what the electrical properties are. This is showing you how much resistance there is. And so the difference, main difference between wire and conductive thread is that uh, conductive thread has uh, non-trivial resistance, meaning it, it drops power along its length, unlike a solid piece of copper wire. Uh, we also show you how to make circuits with it, how to prevent it from coming unraveled. That's uh, every lady's best friend, clear nail polish. And special tips to watch out for if you're a beginner, like making sure your sensors aren't too far away from your microcontroller so that you don't drop signal. That's our sewable GPS. This is our accelerometer and light sensor. Uh, you can put a bobbin of conductive thread in, the, um, in your sewing machine and stitch circuits with plain thread through the top, uh, but that doesn't mean that you can always avoid using traditional electronics tools uh, when the projects get bigger and more complicated. So for instance, this pixel grid is using some alligator clips to sort of like fix some signal drop over distance of the conductive thread. Um, and in fact, what's so interesting to me about wearables is that you can combine any number of traditional crafts like embroidery and sewing with uh, common uh, electronics construction methods like soldering to um, make modular circuits that use snaps. Like here, you can see conductive thread sewing the snaps to the garment and the other half of the snaps soldered to the, um, that's a, again our GPS module. Another thing that conductive thread is really good for is making innovative switches. So uh, for example, this is a, a zipper switch that's triggered when the metal zipper pull passes by and, and hits these two little pads of, of conductive thread. It um, sends an electrical signal that triggers uh, this particular device up in the lapel up here to uh, power down nearby television sets. Um, and this is a modification to an existing Adafruit kit called the TV Be Gone, um, which you can hold in your hand like a remote, but I was going into restaurants and using it a lot, and I wanted a more subtle way to be able to turn the televisions off as I removed my jacket to sit down to eat. 
We also do some projects with conductive fabric, and, and um, so I'll get lots of samples and figure out like what are the best conductive fabrics to carry in our store. This is a woven conductive fabric. We also carry uh, two, two, one kind right now, but soon two kinds of knit conductive fabric. Um, that are useful for making all kinds of sensors and switches. So, um, for instance, here I'm using a capacitive touch sensing circuit uh, to change the color of this LED when I come in contact with the fabric. And we use this same basic principle of sensing uh, you know, magnetic fields through capacitance inducted by your body uh, to make this fabric and plush game controller. Um, it has conductive fabric buttons, and it's connected to our Flora mainboard, which is our Arduino-compatible wearables platform uh, with built-in USB support. So uh, all you have to do is plug it into the computer, and you can play your favorite NES emulators. Uh, and then when you're done, you can un unplug it and throw it on your couch and have a nice plush toy. So um, it's our goal at Adafruit to provide fun uh, do-it-yourself projects that allow enthusiastic novices to make really custom, uh, radically custom, actually, wearable electronics projects that bring their imaginations to life. And um, thank you. <laughs>